All right, can you hear me now? All right, all right, so I'm hoping things are running correctly now. So apparently I moved my laptop three inches to look at stickers that should have been on the bottom, which are not there. Knocked some of my cords out of whack. And they didn't actually move out of place. They were still plugged in, but my laptop just said, fuck you. So uh, overcooking my laptop the way I have been for the last two years on this channel, is <laughs> it's starting to show. Which is why I'm planning on buying a new desktop just for the channel, but it's not going to happen until after uh, my Lincoln Highway road trip, which I'm still not sure if I'm even going to do because my vacation has not been approved yet. Did I work things out with the ice cream police? <laughs> They're the ones who shut me down. They shut me down. They, they didn't like what I built, so they shut us down. Okay, so we left off with the Rock 3. We were working on the Axis Sally when shit went downhill for us. So uh, let's, <laughs> let's continue from where we left off. And hopefully everybody else will rejoin us. But yeah, move it, move my laptop a little bit shows you I need to uh, get a totally brand new system. All right, Axis Sally. Oh, it's not your fault. Not your fault. Eleven thousand five sixty two or twelve thousand. Give you the balanced boilers. There goes a hundred tons. Shaft three. Hydroelectric two. Four barbette five. Reinforced bulkheads two. I don't think we're gonna be as do do as much with her as we did with the other class of ships. Because we didn't save, we didn't save the tonnage like we did on the other class. So can we get you to depth charge three? Yes, we can. Can we get you to twenty-one inch torpedoes? We can. Okay, eleven thousand eight forty-two with twelve thousand. All right. I don't think we can put coincidence four on you. Maybe. 
Actually, yeah, it actually saved us some weight. Perfect. More armor. More armor. <laughs> these things have been sinking too easily. We lost these too easily. 5.3 is as big as we can get. All right. 5.3 on the main. 11,896. A little more on the aft belt. Get that four weight down. Not too much. Can I throw? We got three tons. Can I throw some on a citadel? No, I cannot. Oh, there we go. 11,999, 12,000 tons. Two month refit. We'll roll with it. Glad you didn't wait 10 years before I upgrade your PC. Yeah. I do try to upgrade my laptops like every five years or so. But I, I do need to get a dedicated desktop just for doing this. Like the laptop, it's great, but it doesn't it doesn't handle the workload. For what I want to do and the amount of memory I need and the storage space I need, there's not enough ports. Like all my ports are in use right now. All my ports are in use. I don't have enough ports to do everything I want to do. And I need more memory space. And for all the projects I have going on, my laptop, I'm surprised it's still going. Because I am still I am trying to redo the book reads. I'm going to need space to edit the videos from the drive. So I, I need a I need a bigger computer. I hate to say it, but I need a bigger computer for as good as this one is. I hate to say that, like, for as old as my stuff is, I think I'm actually running a more expensive setup than some of the bigger YouTubers do, <laughs> which is really bad. All right, time for a new light cruiser. We're going to have to slowly rebuild our fleet because this stuff is going to be very expensive. Every Saturday stream we have like three or four small... Because Saturdays are always fucked up for some reason. You know, that, that's a decision you have to make based on the money that you have available. Like, for me, it's like, because I'm running this channel. And my laptop, for as good as it is, it's getting older. If I wasn't running this channel, this my laptop would be great. But running the channel, I do need, I need to go with more power. I just, I need more of everything to do what I want to do. All right, new light cruiser. Hopefully, we can get rid of the fucking armored cruiser hole. I don't know if we unlocked a new cruiser hole yet. But I want to get rid of that fucking hole. I hate it. I'm tired of making all my light cruisers look exactly the same, just more tonnage. I'm getting sick of it. I'm tired of building these light cruisers that are just bigger, but it's the same hull. So it's the same design every time. There we got light cruiser four. There we go. Now we have a new hull. An experimental armored cruiser. This only goes to 9,000 tons though. But it has a speed of 36 knots. Light Cruiser 4 goes up to 10,000. Light 
and has a speed of 35 knots. I can go up to 12,000 with the semi-armored cruiser 3. What about light cruiser 3? That's 29.5 knots, but it only goes to 8,500 tons. Yeah, I think we can go like light cruiser 4. Oh, I haven't forgotten. I haven't forgotten. So we're going to go light cruiser 4 for the extra tonnage. Let's max that out. She gets a speed of 35 knots optimal. All right, we need a class name for the ship because we actually didn't even talk about that. We need a class name. So I'm going to start putting this together. You guys think of a class name and we'll figure it out. That's not going to fit on that bar, bet. The Discord class. <laughs> That's not going to fit on that bar, bet either. She'll sit. There we go. What about the Go Blocks wants more guns? <laughs> well, the Go Blocks class of battleship is coming out right now, so. Wing mounted quad torpedoes. We don't need secondaries on this thing because she's got six batteries of dual seven inches. She don't need secondaries. Actually, let's drop that right now. Get another set up here. Probably not. Can we go with triples? No. What about duels? No, no firing arc. Okay. No underwater tubes on this platform. All right. DACA class? I like that. Singles. Bad firing arc. Single there. Single there. Bad firing arc. Single there. Did that mess up the arc? Yeah, get rid of that one. That messes up the firing on those launchers. There we go. We don't really need the threes on here. Yeah, let's ditch those. We'll ditch the threes. We don't need them. And I think I want this turret to be high. Yeah, we need this turret to be higher. What's that? And I can't put the bar bed up. Oh, there we go. I can put a bar bed up there. 
What the fuck? Okay. Interesting. Turn off the barbats. Alright, that's still fine. Okay. Yeah, but the casemates, there's no casemates on the hull itself. They'll go in the tower. So that's, I don't even see a point in putting them on. More DACA. There we go. I love me some 40K. I have a feeling this is going to be a bad idea, but uh, I'm having fun with this design. <laughs> All right, let's throw everything else on there, spacious quarters, and then we'll see what we can do from there. The balanced rudder, hydroelectric steering, clip four. Five, triple, reinforced. That put us to 9,030. That ballistic. Uh, I kind of want to go high capacity, I think. I think we go high capacity. On the HE shells for her. Two powder one. TNT three, because we're not putting Pickrick on my cruisers. We'll see. Once I once we finish off everything else, I'll look at the speed because there's an optimal speed for hulls. And then once you go over that, becomes the price of your ships really increases. So I, I can't but like I'm fine. I have a hard time believing the AI is making 30, 40 knot heavy cruisers at the fucking price they're building them at. I, so I can't build them at that price at all. And I'll show you an example. Once I'm done putting everything on, we'll go and do single knot increases and watch the cost of the ship increase. Mines because she's a cruiser. Let's give you three inch armor. Three inch main deck. That put us over. Put us way over. Holy shit. Okay, so I have belt. i move you back a little bit. How may that affect you? Not at all. All right, so I have a pair of threes on there. Let's get rid of them. I'm unclicking you. Go away. Get you go away. There we go. Move the main tower back a little bit. Move the bar back, back a bit. There we go, 27.6. Pitch still sucks, but I don't think there's anything we can do about that. Uh, 
Let's go two inch on the aft belt and then up the deck. Deck. So that's $424 million right there. So let's go to 36 and see what the cost. So look at this. We're going to go to 40 like you suggested. Right now it's $424 million. Let's go to 40 knots. That just dropped, that jumped us to 14,000 tons and made the ship over a billion dollars. Now we're back down to 424 million at 35 knots. Let's see what 36 gives us. 10,785 and 600 million dollar price tag. So when you go over optimal speed for a hull, the price skyrockets astronomically. There's an astronomical increase in the price. Which is like, which is why I'm like, I'm looking at these AI built ships and their speed of like the heavy cruisers with 30 knots of speed on a hull that should not get more than 22 and they're fucking cheap. How is a computer doing that? How is it doing that? But honestly, I like the way this looks. This looks sexy. I don't know, GoBlocks. I think this is a sexy looking ship. What do you think? Either it has super advanced hulls or it's cheating. Yeah, it, it's cheating. It doesn't it doesn't have super advanced hulls because it's getting those it's getting that speed out of hulls that are older than the ones I'm using. But it is a sexy looking ship. I like this. It's got no secondaries, but I mean. Six batteries, a dual seven inches. She doesn't need secondaries. What I get? Yeah, you know what? You're not wrong, Josh. You're not wrong. Yeah, I don't think she needs secondaries. Because her main job is killing... Her job when she's assigned to the main fleet is taking out the destroyers. So, like when you see me in the main battles, I was assigned to light cruisers to take out the light ships. So that's that's its job. That's what they're designed to do. Light, kill, light cruisers kill destroyers. Heavy cruisers kill light cruisers. Destroyers try to kill shit that's bigger than them and hopefully survive. <laughs> that and clear mines and sink uh, submarines. All right, we're going to build one of these for now. Just reload the games. I got to reset everything. Going to Yokosuka. Wow, she's almost, she's over, she's almost 200 million more dollars than the Axis Sally is. And she's only five years newer. Look at that price difference. 276,930,000 to 424,890,000. When in Grumpy's neighbor, everything is supposed to kill everything. Uh, yeah. I mean, in, in real that's what in real life, that's what every admiral wants. 
in real life, that's what every admiral wants. All right, so California girls had their second refit, so they're getting gone. Goodbye, California girls. Not really going to miss you. So Tokyo Rose gets her third and final refit, or second and final refit, my bad. Because number two is one refit. Oh, and before I forget, guys, remember, it's a new stream. Even though it's kind of a continuation of the last stream, don't forget to hit that like button. If you enjoy me screwing up my streams, hit that like button. <laughs> and I do like this design. We got a pocket battleship. I like this design. I do like this design. So she's way under tonnage now. <laughs> Let's give you the better boilers. Give you a new shaft, baby. I go with two, orbit five. Bulkheads keep you from getting impregnated by some shells. Keep the cat ballistic, two powder, TNT three, very good. Metal reload. That put us over weight. 21 inch torpedoes. You need depth charges. You need depth charges. You need to hydro. No coincidence. What am I dropping weight on? Let's bring it back down to 20 inch torpedoes. 14,125. Uh, where are we going to drop weight? Actually, I think I have too much armor on the guns as it is. We got 11 inch Mark threes, 15,000 meters. I can point 7.8 and I got 15 inches. Yeah, this still set up to defend against point blank shots. So let's drop that down. We don't need that much armor on the 11s. Turrets pop off. I don't care. It's cheaper than replacing the entire ship. Why is engine efficiency at 51%? Dual medium funnels. What do I have available now? Still dual medium funnels. Uh, I'm not going to replace the funnels because we're still rocking the same funnels. It's not going to make a difference. So... Yeah, we'll go with it.
Or today's DG, FFG, and Corvette's almost the same type of ship, only different. Um, yeah, I guess you could say that, though. Uh, I mean, worldwide navies, yes, you could say that. When it comes to the U.S. Navy and their stupid fucking ideas, that's a totally different story. And remember when still... Yes! <laughs> You know, I love I love Stealth Seventeen, but uh, he he, I don't know, I I think he's done some stupider things than I have, to be honest with you. But he's also been playing this game longer, and he's just you know, it's the main game for his channel, so he's got to do stupid shit to keep the channel alive. So, I mean, you don't want to see your. I mean, nobody wants to lose a game, but you can't succeed all the time either. You really can't. I mean, everybody wants to see their YouTubers succeed, but it's also just as fun watching them fail. Am I right or wrong on that one? Or is it just me? All right, Rocky Horror Picture Show gets their first refit. I mean, you see my ships get sunk by cheap-ass destroyers, so, I mean, it happens. Because I mean, you got to look at it this way. If every YouTuber succeeded at everything easily all the time, would you want to watch? Because it's just as much fun watching the failures as it is watching the successes. And this is another good design. I like this one. It looks nice, but it's basically a dreadnought. And that's going to get changed. 15,000 tons and the new ones can go. We can really up the displacement if we wanted to, but we're not, we don't do that on my redesigns. Exactly. Well, I mean, like you, you guys see my failures. Like I hate it when I fail, but that's part of the game. And I try to be as honest about my failures as I can. It's like, I, I, I've i never not failed honestly. We get more fun of you making what the fuck drunken. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why most of you guys watch me anyway. You want, like, you, you guys watch the stream replays and fast forward to the end, to the final refits to see what the hell I did when I'm shit faced. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll then you'll watch the start of the next stream on replay watch me try to figure out what the hell i did make a good ship design and then fuck it up all again <laughs> all right let's start a refit on you so we already dropped some tonnage off We are rocking, it should be 11 Mark threes. Yep. Give you the balanced boilers. Give you a third shaft of the evening. There we go. Your electric two. Where is group four, barbet five. Reinforced bulkheads two. Running a TNT three. Can we all reload? Oh, we're still underweight, but I think the new torpedoes will put her over. Nope. 14,976. Point four. Can we get the depth charges on? Yes. All right. All right. 14,976 of 15,000. So we can put a 1.1 on the main. Yes. 
There we go. Can we get 1.2? No, we cannot. Board deck, another point. 14,999 of 15,000. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with her any more than that. That's perfect. Well, GTCW is its own fucking animal, Josh. I think anybody who watches my GTCW stuff knows that's that game is its own animal. And I swear, I'm the only YouTuber who's masochist enough to keep doing videos on it. Me and Great Scott. We're the only, I think we're the only two who are still doing videos on that game. Good examples. Cole said Warham made a real Palmer Simpson. <laughs> End up losing a very expensive BB to micromanaging some CPAs or seals. Yeah, which is which is why I try not to micromanage my ships too much. You, you see me try to do a single battle line with my support ships, and like you see me try to do like the battleship a light, a heavy cruiser a light, heavy cruiser and light because I want my heavy guns supported by lighter guns to take out the smaller ships that are closing in on us. Because I'm not trying to micromanage several different battle lines during a video game in real life that's one thing in real life that's actually kind of easier than it is in a video game and I'm, i keep saying it it is the best game of its style and i i hate it when i see all the down talk on that game right people bitch about it constantly but I'm like it's still the best game of the genre for all of its faults for all of its faults which is why I still play it it's still the best game of the genre nothing else comes close and you know for all the faults that are in GTCW it's a small dev it's an extremely small dev team and I'm looking at what they've done with GTCW, you know, from their original game, which was a seven years war game to GTCW and all the work they put into it and how far they've taken that game since its release. I am so looking forward to the next title and how they work all of that into the next title. Which I hope is a revisit of the seven years war. Because there's not enough games on that period anyway. Like to see a multiplayer for this game. Uh honestly, that would not be a bad idea. Oh crap, I got the hiccups all of a sudden. That actually would not be a bad idea. Right, new heavy cruiser. We have the experimental, which goes up to 12,000. But large armored cruiser goes to 16,5. Uh, I want the tonnage. You've held off sleep into this hall? <laughs>
that I, I, I'm, I'm hoping they have it at the release. I'm hoping they have it at the re- like a bare bones version at the release, and if they release an in depth version later as a DLC, I'd be happy with that. I'd be very happy with that. Like if they, if they do a bare bones version, I'd be very happy. And we're like old Sierra TBS games or Lords of the Realm 2 or Lords. I haven't thought of that game in a long fucking time. Holy shit. Third control ship placement and fleets being able to lock two fleets together when you place it. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, this last update actually really improved that. So like my destroyers, when I set them to screen. Or actually screening. They're, they're not just charging at the enemy fleet anymore. Uh, the ship... Like, this game has gotten much better since the last update. There's been a vast improvement. I'd say nine, as far as gameplay handling goes. And the way the AI handles things. There's a 90% improvement from the last update from like three days ago. I mean, it's like it's a huge improvement. And I'm happy with it. The Lords of Rome to on your desktop for this. Yeah, I, I got I got some older games that I still play for nostalgia purposes. I do. I want to get rid of this fucking dreadnought hole for the heavy cruiser, but twelve thousand tons at the max on the experimental hole, which I kind of like. What's your speed? Thirty four knots to twenty. Ah, oh, fuck me. I need the tonnage. All right, I'm throwing a poll up. Do I go with the experimental hole and lose the tonnage? Or do for or do I go for the armored cruiser hole for the heavier tonnage? All right, polls up. Let's see where you guys go. I need the tonnage, but the speed would be nice. All right, we got nine viewers. We got six votes, seven votes, six votes. All right, whoever's jumping back and forth, make up your mind. I'm going to close the poll here in 30 seconds. Okay, I just... I just glanced at my Discord and saw the Guinness ice cream, and now I'm fucking hating whoever posted this. Because I want it now. Okay, time's up. End poll. Armored for tonnage. There we go. 71% of the vote. Like control destroyers, have someone else deal with the rest of the fleet. Yeah. You don't mean my torpedo boats and destroyers. I want to charge in there and launch some torps and move the Felca out again. I'd, I'd love to control destroyers where someone else worries about the big guns. Kick old money off and go with speed. <laughs> No, 
No, the speed is for survivability. The speed helps us to survive better. It makes us harder to target. Oh, that was you, Wank. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking. I'm, just, I'm just looking at that picture on Discord right now, on my phone. And I'm just like, I want it. I want it now. <laughs> Fucking food conversation on this channel. Ah. All right, so we're going sixteen thousand tons. She gets a speed of nineteen point five, so we'll give her twenty. Spacious quarters. Yeah, I mean, you can undo your vote and jump back and forth. It's not final until I close it. Yeah, I did actually to post it, but this, I just saw it and now I really, really want it. Because <laughs> that description makes it sound so fucking good. <laughs> Any player jobs to give back control. Yeah, I mean, that's how most games work. So, yeah, I mean, that, that would make sense. One of the things you'd like to see at some point, if possible, with the Cohen in a way to have the ship's priorities. That would, William, I fully agree with you on that. I fully agree with you on that. I mean, that would, that would be so helpful. It's not even funny. Glenn, welcome back. Uh, Not much. Uh, we're just getting into the 1930 refit, so uh, welcome to the shit show. Yeah, Lord, yeah, Lords of Magic did have horrible desync issues. It did. All right, so we've gone with the armored cruiser hole, sixteen thousand tons. Now we need a name for it. Yeah, you know what? This will be the dependence class. So, first one will be the dependent. And I can't put bar. Oh, this is an armored cruiser hole, so I can't put bar bets on here, I think. Can I? Yes. All right, medium bar bets. Main guns. We do have quads. Fuck okay, it, let's put a quads on here. Why not? Let's put quads on. There we go. Casemates. Five inchers. I mean the quads are brand new technology, so they're gonna be they're gonna suck accuracy wise, but uh when you're throwing out sixteen shells at a time, one of them's gonna hit. I'm not drunk enough for the drunky design for the drunk designs. It was uh the mad scientist design. The just I'm I, I'm really liking the destroyer design, so don't down talk it. I'm really liking it. We'll see how it performs though. Yeah, you're right. Let's max out the beam. There we go. Now that rear turret has a bad placement. I have a feeling this is going to be a very bad idea. All right, casemates are on, mains are on, main tower. Tower 10. Man's rear deck 3. Dual mean funnel one. I'm not gonna be able to put more than one set of funnels on. That sucks. I would like two sets, but with these guns, I'm not. Let's move you forward. Maybe I can get two sets. Nah, I don't think I have enough space. We'll try. 
We'll try. Nope. We're not getting it in there. All right. Let's move you back. Actually, we're... Let's move you back forward because our... Center line is way off. There we go. Now we're centered. Outside of that star itself, anything the ship hits is going to go up in a molten slag. We'll see if it actually even hits anything. That puts us at 12,000 of our tonnage. 12,899 to 16,000. Let's see what else we can do. Remember next week you made this up thinking about ice cream and whiskey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was I, I'm I'm actually thinking about ice cream and beer. So because I'm thinking I'm thinking of that Guinness flavored beer right now. And if you go if you go onto the Discord and look at that description, forget the picture. Just look at the description. It gives me a chubby just thinking about having some. <laughs> Uh, Citadel put us overweight. Okay. Knew that was coming. But not from the Citadel. Alright. Max HE. I actually think we're going to go mains. We're going to go max AP on the mains. Ballistic. Standard shell size. Two powder. TNT 3. Two some auto reload. Then we'll take some armor off the because I know we may go down to triple turrets instead of the quads, because I know the weight's coming from the quads. Yeah, we're gonna go down to triples. And that took the bar bed off. So we're going to go down to triples on the mains. This will still be our first ship with triple guns on it anyway. There we go. That, that, that's it. I don't have to drop the armor on the turret, so I, I'm probably going to anyway. Yeah, we didn't put torps on. Shit. How many underwaters do we have on this hull? Yeah, no, we got to put wings on. That put us over weight. But not by much. All right, what do you guys pen? Seven point eight at fifteen thousand meters. So let's drop you to nine. There we go. And main belt. Is she's a glass cannon right now. Honestly. 15,989 to 16,000 anymore in the main. Nope. Four weight's fine, but point on the aft deck. Fifteen thousand nine ninety eight of sixteen thousand tons. Pitch and roll really isn't that bad. Four weight's fine. Two hundred thirty percent engine efficiency. I like this.
Wouldn't have depended me glass. Yeah. <laughs> What's the rotate? Yeah, that rotation's fine. That rotation's fine. That one's, those are both good. Yeah. Forwards are always in range. It's, I'm always more worried about the rears. These will be fine. Okay. We'll build one of these for now. And it's only 217 million. That's actually really cheap. We're going to build more, but I'm going to build them one at a time. I can't believe I'm saying that. Only 217 million. That's a steal. I should be a fucking senator. Yeah, 217 million is cheap. <laughs> I do sound like the average politician saying that. I never think about beer. I'm only thinking about beer because Guinness flavored ice cream sounds fucking phenomenal. And I want it now. Yeah, she's actually, look at that. She's actually cheaper than the Rocky Horror Picture Show by 200 million. She's actually a cheaper ship. And she's cheaper than the Tokyo Rose, too. How the fuck did we pull that off? Yeah, no, no. If I was a senator, I'd be looking at prices going, what the fuck are you guys thinking? But, that, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, $217 million? And it's cheaper than it shipped from two generations ago. The destroyer is half the price of the heavy cruiser. It's cheaper than the new light cruiser. How the hell did we pull this? Oh, it's the speed, the speed on the engines, because I went with her whole speed, because she is slow. I went with her optimal speed for her hull. Everything else is above optimal speed, which makes it very, very expensive. That's the difference. That's the difference right there is her speed. She's actually really slow. Let's build one. Send you to Yokosuka. But I, I like the design. I think she's going to be very deadly for us. Grover, if you were a senator, your lobbyists give you enough whiskey to pass anything. You're probably not wrong, Go Blocks. <laughs> You're probably not wrong. Dwight, how we doing? Uh, we are drinking Stranahan single malt whiskey from Colorado this evening. All right, so. The Sonar Rainy class, which... Let's see. 
I didn't refit this last time. Where the fuck is she ported right now? Where is she ported? I left her an Archangel. Really? I left her an Archangel? That's right. I was supposed to be sending a new battle fleet out here. And yeah, since we lost Finland, that's not happening. I totally forgot she was out there. <laughs> Would they give him whiskey to pass things, or would he need whiskey to replace the soul he sold to become a senator? Uh, you got to have a soul to sell to begin with, so I sold mine to the army. They already have it, so. They're, they're uh, giving me whiskey to fill that emptiness. Shit, I forgot the sonar. I totally forgot about the sonar rainy, and they are on the other side. The only ship on the other side of the fucking globe from the rest of my fleet. <laughs> and I never refit it, too, that, which is hilarious. But now it's up for its next refit anyway, so we'll make her even better. Doing all right, eating pizza or drinking Crown Blackberry. Well, make up your mind. Is Crown Blackberry or Sheepdog? Which, honestly, neither one actually really sounds very advertising, to be honest with you. Get him drunk enough to pass anything in front of him. Yeah, you're not wrong. Ah, shit. With this design... This was a good design. This ship has done as well. I want to see if we can drop enough weight to throw a third turret up front. I'm wondering if we can get a third turret on her. I'm not thinking so, though. No, we're not. Thirty two thousand five twenty, thirty two thousand eight twenty four, twelve thousand kilometer range. Yeah, I should give her I should give her wing torps. At least one set. But they might be too heavy. Nope. One set of wing torps fits. I can't put another set on. She'll be too heavy at that point. These are 115 tons. I throw another set on, she'll go over weight. And I actually didn't give her any underwaters. So let's give her underwaters there. The underwaters put her overweight by two tons. Or four tons. Okay. How much armor? Did I leave your arm all the way up on the turrets? Or did I take that off? No, I stripped her armor off the turrets. I can't strip any more armor off the turrets. So the underwater tube has to go. You have to go. There we go. Hundred tons. There we go. A little more on the first inner deck for protector crew. Thirty-two thousand eight twenty-two. Thirty-two thousand eight twenty-four. Yep. We'll roll with it. Uh, 
I, it screams at me too. It screams at me too. But the wing mount torpedoes just took the way she didn't have a lot of tonnage to play with. So we gotta we gotta roll with her the way she is. Good thing it's sonar on a ring. Yeah. <laughs> and it's odd for neither for either usually one or both are here. It's I know Rainy has work early tomorrow. I'm surprised sonar sonar popped in and then popped out, so I'm a little surprised by that. I mean, she's not going to get another refit because that's our second refit, but she still might be in service for a while afterwards because we have to rebuild our Pacific fleets. The war with the British really tore down our ships. We'll see. I mean, she's on her own. I think she's good where she is. We're not fighting over there anyway, though I could move her down to Spain. But she'll be out of fuel. I got nowhere to recall. She's on one refit. Yeah, so I should move her off of Spain. Wow, Spain's actually kind of ballooned. Wait. France and Germany and Austria are gone. And the U.S. controls a Legoland. World turned upside down. But I have no coaling stations around Spain. Anywhere near Spain. And with the loss of Northern Finland to China, this I probably could have ported her out of there. And sending her anywhere near the British coastline without a coaling station is a bad fucking idea. Yeah, no. She's got to stay where she is. Maybe I'll send her to Merminx after she refits. That's a four-month refit on her. Holy shit. Sonar! Speak of the devil and she will appear. We were literally just talking about you because we just refit the sonar rainy class. Uh, kerosene? I'm not going to bother refitting this because we only had the one and China took it from us in the peace deal. So I'm not even going to refit that. I'm just going to delete it. Sorry, kerosene, but it is what it is. I know, I know. I'm trying, I'm trying, but we got we we ended the war with China. We we still got to finish the war with Britain. Then I can refocus on the U.S. But I'm going to need a lot more tonnage than I have currently to do it. The amount of tonnage I'm going to need to invade the West Coast is fucking disgusting. And I don't have it right now, especially since China took all my modern ships away from me. All of them. You saw what I lost during that peace deal. They ripped me, they ripped everything away. They took all of my modern ships. So, new battle cruiser since we don't have the kerosene anymore.
I gotta wait for the game to load again. And we do new we do have the new battle cruiser hole. We have battle cruiser five now, which we just unlocked right before the refit. Look at that hole. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Time to make something very, very expensive. And I'm going to regret building. Max out the beam. Max out the tonnage. What is it going to allow me to go up to? 46,060 tons. Best speed, 30.4, so we'll give her 31. Spacious cores. What are we going to do? Oh, and we got to give her a name. You know what? I was watching the Highlander the other day, so... Uh, I have an idea. The white of the clan MacDonald. <laughs> The wet McDonald of the Clan McDonald, and there will be only one. I love the Highlander movies, they're great. All right, so what are we putting on you? Rainy Sooner. <laughs> We're going to stick with the triples. You have a built-in barbette back here. I think the medium's too small for that. I want to give another gun up here. I wish I had a taller bar bet to super fire over. Do I? We have a super tall bar bet. Can I make it over? Oh, yeah, baby. Probably too much weight, though. <laughs> that is not going to work. It. Yeah, no, it's, even though it's supposed to be a taller bar bed, it's not giving us the space. And that's the super tall bar bed, so it's not making it over. That sucks. Like, I can pull it back here because of the way the decks are set up, but I can't do it up forward. Let's throw a third turret up there. Anyway. Well, give her two mega funnels. And a small secondary tower. Go weight centered. I'm probably going to have to drop this third turret up front. Casemates, eight inches, yes. Uh, 
Uh, no, you cannot stack bar bets. I wish you could. I wish you could. Otherwise, I would. That put us way overweight, but I got to drop some tonnage off the turrets anyway. Actually, the main guns, what are they? The 16s are Mark IIs. That's right, we just unlocked the Mark IIs. Let me put everything else on first. Torpedoes. We'll go wing mounts because I doubt she has... How many underwaters does she have? She's got two. So we want at least one wing set on her. All right, let's add everything else on. We're definitely going to drop armor off. That just dropped her weight exponentially because we got rid of the coal. But uh, that put us back overweight. Oh, you know I would. You know I would. I should go 14s, but no. I might drop the 15s. I'm probably going to drop her to 15s. Once I once I strip the armor off the turrets, I'll probably go 15s. But we'll see. Go with the capitalistic on her. Yeah, I'm probably I'm gonna have to drop her down to fifteens. I want to keep the triples. I may have to skip on that center turret. Why are you badly placed now? There. Actually, do I put you... I think I put you guys forward. Because we're going to drop off that third turret up there. Fifty eight thousand to forty six thousand. I may go down to the fourteens because they are Mark threes. Twelve point six to twenty thousand meters. Shit, and you actually have armor for that range. All right, we're going down to fourteens. And I want to try and keep the triple barrels. But I think the triple barrels are what really is putting us over weight. Yeah, we got to ditch the trips. Actually, I could probably ditch a funnel. No, that brought our engine efficiency down to 86%. I can't ditch a funnel. Let's 
go down to duels. The 14s are Mark III, so they're actually really good guns. They're, pro they're probably better than the 16s. Still puts us over weight, but we can work with it a little better. Fifty thousand six forty one of forty six thousand. And we got a lot of deck space to play with. This is what's killing me. We got so much deck space. Uh we're not shortening the we're not shortening the barrels. We are not shortening the barrels. That is not happening. Battle cruisers fighting on their own. They need all the range they can get. I could drop the eight inches down to sevens. Yeah, let me pull. Let me drop the sevens first. Uh, drop the eights. We'll go to sevens. Still an eight. There we go. No, but you're right about pulling the forward guns back. You're right. Our citadel is really fucking long. Still overweight, but not badly. Forty eight thousand. Four weights handled. Pitch and roll is good. We are 2,000 tons overweight. Oh, wait. I didn't strip any armor from the 14s yet. They get 10.2 inches of pen. They're at 12.4. So let's drop that to 10. 40, that did not save us any weight. These are Mark 3s, they pen 2.7. Actually, yeah, so let's drop that down to 3. 1,000 tons over. No, but like, no, but like pulling everything back did save us some weight. So you weren't, I, I misunderstood what you're trying to say, but it still worked out in our favor. Still worked in our favor, so that's fine. Now it's just finding a, it's a matter of finding a thousand tons. I'm not stripping any armor from her belt. Where am I going to strip it? Standard quarters. All right, now we're about 800 tons overweight. Oh, Barbette's fucking up there. Let's drop the Barbette to 10. Save the some weight.
Drop to five on top. Now we're 100 tons overweight. Now we're getting somewhere. First earner belt does not need to be 3.6 inches. There we go. There we go. I'm not happy. She's one battery shy of what I want. But she has a lot of tonnage, which is something I do need. But the 14s, I want them to be 16s, but they're Mark 3s, which ostensibly makes them better than the 16-inch guns. So, we'll roll with her. Say hello to the the white McDonald, the clan McDonald. And watch her sink in the first battle I take her out to. At a $1.8 billion price tag. Wait, I think my heavy cruiser is actually built better in this thing. <laughs> I think my heavy cruiser has actually got a better armament and built better. Ugh. Yep, game does not like what I just built. This is taking forever. There we go. Let's build one of these at $1.8 billion. Yokosuka. All right. Now it's time for the battleships. Oh, we already had a Fuso class. Glenn, you got to give me a new name. We were actually we actually already had the Fuso class. And that one's getting deleted. Oh, you know what? No, Fuso's fine because we don't have any in service anymore. I don't think we have any of that class in service anymore. So the Fuso class is actually fine. So the Zuiho gets its final refit. This is more what I wanted my battle cruiser to look like. <laughs> uh, we'll keep the Fuso, or we can go with Manukahila if you want. And this whole design is actually obsolete. I dropped a thousand tons off the bat. 
What are you armed with? 15 inch Mark IIs. That's good. All right. Balanced. Ship three. Hydroelectric two. Orbit five. Oh, the, the the new battleship is getting uh the biggest guns I can give it. So we got capitalistic two, two powder one. Whoa, she has picric acid. Hell no. I didn't realize I had a fucking battleship with picric acid on it. No. That's asking for trouble. Thirty-four thousand three forty-nine, thirty-seven, thirty-four thousand seven thirty-nine. Actually, she's perfectly balanced, even with the new goodies. Give her a little more belt armor. And there we go. We'll save that. She got the new goodies and she was still underweight. Ooh, so that ship gets you hot and bothered. <laughs> we'll build you a bigger and better Fuso just for you so you can be all hot and bothered when you go to bed this evening. Eighteen viewers and six likes. Just remember, if you think my designs suck and they shouldn't be going into battle, don't forget to hit that like button just to see them sink. All right, now for the new Zuho class battleship. Oh, wait, never mind. We got to refit the Josh. We got to refit the Josh first. My bad. I mean, look at this hull we're going to be working with. We can do a lot with that. But first, we got to go back to the Josh. Where are you? There you are. Josh, we got to put you on a weight saving program. Well, I, I did a design refit. She just wasn't refit, so. Dreadnought 4 is obsolete. What do we have on you? Well, you got the dual 16s.
All right, we dropped a few hundred tons. Not much. Be new balanced boilers. Shaft three, because I know you love a third shaft. Hydroelectric steering. Marbet five. Reinforced bulkheads two. Three. So we got to reload. That put us overweight. Saw that coming. I knew we were going to go overweight on something, but I think the uh, coincidence will save us weight. There we go. 48,706 to 48,707. And when it comes to pitch, roll, and four weight, probably one of the best ships in the fleet with a 205% engine efficiency. <laughs> With 16 inch Mark II guns. Yeah. Josh, I think you're fine. I think you're fine. No, we don't have the tonnage for that. I wish we did, but we don't. I would like to put triple turrets on her, but I can't. I'd, I'd rather keep the four dual turrets and put the two triples on there, to be honest with you. Because I think it would just look weird. All right, now the new battleship. And look at this hull. Mm, mm, mm. Tasty. I know I'm out of dockyard tonnage. We're, getting, we're trying to build it up, but we're out of tonnage. Not going to stop us, though. Just like the Japanese in real life. We're going to make it bigger, badder than anything else anybody else has. So, Modern Battleship 2. It's 28 knots of speed. It's going to be named the Fuso class. Drop her range down for now. Give her cramped quarters. Max out the beam. 103,209 tons is what we have to work with. <laughs> with nothing on it, this hull costs us $2.5 billion. Oh. My government's going to hate me. <laughs> My government is going to hate me. Main guns. Quad 16 inches.
Uh, that barbette is way too big for that gun. Okay. We can drop the barbette down. Remember, just build a factory, put legs on, call Lancy Battleship. <laughs> and we do have the raised deck over here, so I might actually be able to put a triple forward. Now they're very tall, put her back here. Another center line. I mean, we got so much tonnage to work with. I mean, she can't fire forward, but, uh, yeah, she can't fire forward. Not tall enough. God, that tower's fucking huge. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, this thing is gonna fucking bankrupt me. It's gonna bankrupt me. You can't sit, you can't sit in there? Alright, super large funnel. There we go. What about back here? Can you fit? No. I'm going to go with the one funnel for now. Yeah. This is going to be one of those designs. I'm still sober while I'm building it, but uh, I'm going to blame you guys anyway. <laughs> the entire hole looks too small for the towers. Let it... Forget the guns. The towers dwarf the hull. They, these towers are fucking humongous. Secondaries on there. And that only puts us at 75,000 tons. But $2.7 billion. All right, let's, let's throw the rest of the goodies on, then we'll play with her a little bit more. Now, I'm, pro I'm probably going to move them forward anyway. But let's let's add in everything else and then see what we're going to do. Because this design's already a bad idea, but I love it. Is it Goblock's fault class? No, no, this is the Fuso. I already, I already gave Glenn the name. And we're building two of these at ten billion dollars. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> were they was this even a number? Was ten billion even a number in nineteen thirty? Did anybody have any idea what the hell billion was at that time? I don't put torps on battleships, V-Man. I don't put torps on battleships. Super heavy shells.
Holy crap, we actually went over tonnage. <laughs> Lord knows how long it's going to take to build these. We are 3,000 tons overweight. Let's move you forward. If we really can't move her forward anymore. No, I actually can't move my forward towards more forward than they are if I want a good firing arc. All right, we got to save ourselves 2.7 thousand tons. Our engine efficiency sucks. All right, what are you penning? Max range, you're getting 7.4. Let's drop that to 8. There we go. Ten billion back then is one hundred. Yeah, but I don't think anybody was talking in billions of dollars in nineteen thirty. I do have to get another. We only have seventy two percent engine efficiency. I need another funnel. I don't think any of these funnels are going to sit on the secondary tower. That's the problem. I'm going. You know, what? I should change that tower. As much as I want to keep it on there for the way it looks. None of these funnels are going to sit in her. No, we got to get rid of that tower. There we go. That's better. That's better. Not a single one of those funnels was going to fit. But my four weight is actually my sensor balance is back here, but my four weight is still actually pretty fucking low. What the hell? Oh, because I have three triple turrets. That's why. Uh, we got 2000 tons to play with. So armor, armor, baby. Armor, armor, armor. No, that's that's what I'm saying, Ank. That's exactly what I'm saying. Like a ten billion dollar price tag. My government's gonna look at me and go, What the fuck are you thinking? Hundred three thousand two forty five, a hundred three thousand two fifty nine? Yes. How do I have a starboard weight offset? What the fuck just happened? Okay, good call. What the fuck happened here? Why are those? Good call. How the hell did that happen? There we go. All right, aft weight is 17.2, but... That's too much. Let's drop you two and move you forward. Nah. 
I like it. Glenn, what do you think? You're going to spend $340 billion. Yeah, by the end of World War II. I'm talking about $10.9 billion, almost $11 billion for one ship. $340 billion by the end of World War II between the Navy, the Army, the Army Air Corps, the Marine Corps. I mean, that's... This is a good chunk of that fucking budget for one ship. You'd simultaneously be court-martialed, demoted, spit-roasted politically and militarily. Yeah. Uh, she doesn't need more secondaries than that. We only got 10 tons to play with, so... I like it. And I'll blame you all next week for when it fails. <laughs> I mean, 103,000 tons, that's more than half of our building capacity. Let's roll with her. We're going to build two of these bitches. Battleship 10 was going to cost $1 billion if it was built in 1944. Oh, shit. I, I know nothing about that. That's... I'm going to have to look that up. We're building two of these bad boys. Because we got to replace the Riley. And we're not going to call it the Riley said it was fine, too. We're going to call it the Crayon Eater. Let's spend our entire budget for the next 20 years on two battleships. Yes. I mean, that that's, that's, I mean, that's how everybody thinks anyway. I mean, that's how navies think, <laughs> especially U.S. Navy. Let's build two of these at 10 billion each. Yes. <laughs> And we can only put these at two port. Uh, <laughs> I can't put these where I want to build them. So they got to go to Sasebo. And the new Riley said it was fine is now the crayons taste good. <laughs> yeah, I got Riley in chat. Yeah, 62 months because I'm way over tonnage. It's all friendly riving. It's all friendly riving. 62 months. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, I got to put you back in the port. Go back to home port.
I mean, monthly balance, negative 917 million. I'm not going to go broke too fast. <laughs> God. Oh, my God. I'm not going to go broke too fast. Not at all. <laughs> my new battleships could lead every fucking invasion by themselves. <laughs> They're not even going to be built before the next refit. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be broke way too fast. You're not wrong. Nope, fight to the end because we still have to take Australia away. They helped the Chinese beat us, so we need to punish the British. All right, everybody's in port now. So let's get all our refits done. All right, you're already refitting. All right, looks like everybody is now refitting. Except for the drunken class, because we're not building those anymore. So we're looking at four months, six months on the sonar rainy being refit. Holy crap. How much of our, we're using 508,000 of our 223,000 tons of shipbuilding. Oh my God. I could drop my tech budget to zero and still spend too much money. Which is exactly what we're going to do. Drop our crew training down. We're still spending $167 million a month. And I'll drop my transport capacity once we're back up to 200%. Oh, that would have been the Montana class. Okay. How many months do you think it would take the U.S. to fully mobilize the industry for wartime materials? Modern day. Okay, I was, was going to ask you, modern or uh, back then. Uh, modern day? Uh, probably take about a year to spin it up. Just like just like World War II. It's going to take about a year to spin it up, if not a little longer. But probably a year at the outside. Railing production. So what a lot of people don't understand or realize, and this is something you people don't get into. Industry in the US is required to be able to retool. It, it it's actually part of the law. They have to be able to retool to wartime standards. So every industry in the US, even if it's not tooled to a wartime standard right now, is able to retool to a wartime standard. 
So it will take some time. Yes. Is it possible? Yes. Are we going to meet the same production standards that we met in the 1940s? No, because everything's more modern. It takes a lot more time to build modern equipment. Now, if we were to retool to like 1940 standards and building stuff to 1940 standards. Yeah, we could do that. I don't think it would be as good because people, we've really forgotten how to build stuff like that anymore. But uh, yeah, we, we can we can shift to wartime economy pretty easily. It's a matter of the people of the U.S. accepting it. It's a matter of the people of the U.S. accepting a wartime economy. We can shift to a wartime economy pretty easily. It's a matter of people accepting it. All right, three turns, and then we can go back to uh, kicking the Brits out of the east. It's a lot. It's it's one of the questions. Like like being higher. Even my time in the military, like for where I was, I never was in higher echelons with the planning or anything. But one of the things people forget is the human element. It's a matter of the U.S. populate. A big part of everything the military does is the population backing it, and a lot of people don't take that into account when they're planning things, and they need to. Oh crap, we're about to lose uh Saigon. I can live with that. I can live with that. As long as I take everything else away from them, I can go with losing South Vietnam. I'm fine with that. No, the American people are not capable of sustaining a wartime economy. They are not. Not in the least bit. Actually, no, Josh, you're 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 wrong. You're right and wrong at the same time. Because uh, most of our industries, and a lot of people don't realize this, uh, some of the minor industries, that you, like clothing industries and stuff like that, actually still do make wartime equipment. They actually have factories set up for that. And they, they, they do have factories for that. It's just a matter of expanding them is what it really comes down to. Uh, one of the biggest things... Uh, uh, and it's a name a lot of you guys are going to recognize, whether you're American or European, the name Oshkosh. And some of you guys are recognized from Oshkosh Bagash, the clothing company. They're the biggest truck manufacturer for the fucking army. One of the biggest clothing manufacturers in the U.S. that provides for the U.S. and the world is the main truck supplier for the U.S. military. People don't realize that. So the, the the American industry is set up to retool at any time. Most of these companies have factories that are strictly set aside for military production. All right, one more turn for the refits and then we go back to naval invasions. I mean, mentally, Americans are not prepared. Mentally, Americans are not prepared, Inc. They are not. Industrial-wise, we could do it whenever we want, basically at, a swip, at the flip of a switch, basically. People don't realize how <laughs> the military-industrial complex of the U.S. is 
very embedded into our culture at this point since the end of World War II. There was no way of turning it off and not killing our economy. So it's there. We just need to up it up a little bit. And that's it. All right, everything's done refitting. Let's get our fleet out of Manila. And over here to Papua New Guinea. Yeah, IBM did produce M1 carbines back in the 40s. We're now at negative 45 million, so the refits are done. It's just building. Once some of our ships finish building, we'll be able to start pumping money back into crew training. You forgot Oshkosh did close, not just milk. Josh, Oshkosh's major... Their major industry is clothing. I don't know about anywhere else in the U.S., but Oshkosh still has straight-up Oshkosh stores in New York. And they're, they're, they're a worldwide clothing brand. They're a worldwide clothing brand. They're kind of forgotten here in the U.S. New York is still popular. But I, I've seen them more outside of the U.S. than in the U.S., outside of New York. And in New York, I think they're only popular because a lot of immigrants know it. Where do you want us to invade? With 2,970... I'm going to say yes, because I don't know where they want us to go. They want... Oh, Bismarck Archipelago? Uh, I should, but Papa was worth nine billion. We're going to invade Papa first, then we'll come up here for the Bismarcks. Think the ruling elite agrees that wartime economy is necessary to produce propaganda that'll sway the majority of the Yes. No, you're not wrong, Gublox. You're not. You're not wrong at all. But it's a matter of how long the people will be willing to put up with it. That's a different question. Short term, people will put up with it. Long term, they will not. But that's but that's human history anyway. People will only put up for, for lo so long before they get tired of it. You own one of those carbon? Oh, that sucks. Well, your random thought sparked a 10 minute conversation. <laughs> yeah, no, Germany's gone. Germany's gone. Germany's gone. Germany's gone. France is gone. Austria is gone. Central Europe is uh, kind of a shit show right now. So, Ank, you're basically another version of me. You listen to me pontificate on this channel all the time. Submarines? Really?
Two bow tubes, two stern tubes. Let's see what happens. Because I can't fight this. This is auto resolve. Yep, we took no damage. They took some damage. Okay. Long enough timeline, no country can. No, no, no country can for the long term. Finland would like to order one sonar rainy class battle cruiser. We are already way over tonnage. Uh, we just started making money again. Yeah, I'll sell it to you. Why not? We're ordering every ship we build from now on is a ship that is 10 years away from Caroline Islands. No, we're not invading the Carolines. We're already busy. We're already busy. Government, we're busy. We are already busy. Russo is now at 55 months. <laughs> We're told for a wartime economy would be a great indicator of how our economy actually is rather than how it seems. Uh yes and no. Yes and no. Like I like I've been saying, a lot a lot of our industry. A lot of the companies that you associate with everyday items make military products on the regular. They have factories that just do that, like Oshkosh, 3M. They they have military factories that are constantly pumping out stuff. So retooling their main factories away from civilian items to military items is nothing for them because that's what they're built around. That's what keeps them afloat for the most part. Honestly, like when it comes to like 3M, and if you served in the military, 3M, whether, you, whether you're a civilian or in the military, 3M is the biggest product you're ever going to find. 3M makes 90% of the products the military, the U.S. military, any NATO military, basically 90% of their products are 3M. 3M is a big civilian product. But a lot of stuff they make for the civilian market doubles down for military use. They they don't even have to retool their factories. All they have to do is say, okay, we're going to give less to the civilian stuff and put more into the military side. Almost every almost every company in America, almost every company in America, fifty percent of their products outside of 3M, which is basically ninety percent of their products, goes to the military. They design and produce products for the military, whether it's the U.S. military or a NATO nation. It is not hard for U.S. factories to tool over to go straight up military for a few years. It's not impossible. It's very easy for them to do that. If you served in the military at any time, whether in the U.S. or in the NATO nations, you're going to see American companies, you're going to see product names on the items that you use on the everyday basis in the military that are everyday items in the civilian world. Nobody realizes that. Most of these companies survive. Most of their, they survive on their military contracts. They don't survive on their civilian contracts. It's the military side that keeps them making money. Yeah, no, retooling material-wise, that's easy. Civilian-wise, it's not. It, it's, once again, the human element, like I said before, comes into effect. You got you to gotta get the people ready to have less. And Americans are not going to put up with that for very long. Uh, right now, it's basically just the British and the Italians. I'm going to say yes because I want to see... 20,000 tons? Where the hell do you want us to invade? I'm going to say yes to see where you want us. But uh, Europe is Spain, <laughs> which is usually 
in most of my campaigns, Spain doesn't exist. Actually, Spain's kind of a more of a power than Italy is. So we could say Spain and Italy are on equal footing. Holy shit. England lost control of Scotland. Scotland's free. Freedom! <laughs> Southern Ireland is still controlled by the British, but uh, Northern Ireland is free Ireland. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Britain's not even a hotshot European power right now. Nobody is. Nobody is. It's a fucking Rochambeau right now. Who's going who's going to take control before France and Germany reform? And look, the US has a good chunk of Africa. US has got some provinces in Africa. Oh my god. What is going on with the world? <laughs> China owns Palestine. <laughs> they can keep that. There's something wrong in the world today. I don't know what it is. Somewhere deep inside. I mean, we still control most of, you know, northern Russia. Yeah, this, this campaign map is kind of weird. No rainy day, it's still alive. The sonar rainy is alive. She's over here. Actually, she's the only ship I have in Northern Europe right now. She's parked at Archangel. <laughs> she was supposed to form the basis of a new fleet. But, uh, yeah, Bert sunk most of my fleet. And good morning to you. I'm actually surprised you're on the stream. I thought you were supposed to be driving pretty early. All right, so they want us to go for the Solomon Islands also. Okay. We'll finish up on Papua. One more turn. We'll go take Bismarck, Solomon's, and then come down for Australia. Wait, what the fuck? When did that... Oh, they took fucking South Vietnam from me. They took South Vietnam from me. <sighs> but I think we're taking more from them. Leaving in two hours? Okay. And we're looking on fuel. 14% of fuel. <laughs> oh my God. I need to get that ship out of my fleet. All right. Bismarck Archipelago. Here we come. It wasn't a rant, it was more of a demand. Because, <laughs> God damn it, I want me some Guinness flavored ice cream.
No, no, I'm, I'm, no, Josh, go on to the Discord and look at, look at the, re look at the description for that Guinness flavored ice cream. You're gonna want some too. I'm, I want it and I want it now. <laughs> Reading the description of that just like it makes your mouth salivate. Go go onto the Discord and read the description in general chat. <laughs> actually, Inc., I know a bar that does that. They're actually really good. They also do a Guinness based onion French onion soup, which is to fucking die for. And we just sank two submarines and took no losses. Nice. Was there more transports? I did three in Southeast Asia. Yeah, because I have no ships over here defending in Southeast Asia. Okay. How long is this going to take? Six turns? I should have just skipped that. Six turns? That's a waste of time. I should have just went straight for Northern... I should have just went... Yeah, no, we're going straight for Australia. We could take those whenever we want. We're going for Australia. We're going for Australia. Fuck this. Move over to Darwin. We're taking Australia, baby. Making this like my China run. No, Josh, you're not wrong. That that actually is shorter than uh, most of the other turns. But we've been taking we've been taking ports away from England at three turns. Uh, we fought a pretty bad war against the Chinese and the British. I mean, if you look at our war score with the British, we're at 307,000 points to their 243,000. And this war is not ending anytime soon. It's not as long as I can help it. Because I am kicking them out of the fucking Pacific. Yeah, they were, They yeah, so... Yeah, no, Ink's not wrong, uh, Josh. They uh they took all my modern ships from me. China took China basically took an entirety of one of my fleets. It was all the newer ships. Country economy is booming. There's potential to use some extra income to increase naval funds. What do you think? Yes, give us more money. Because I don't have any right now. So I'm putting in nothing. No. No peace. And six turns for 
Northern Australia, where nobody lives, is going to take six turns. Well, it's worth $22 billion. Bismarck Archipelago is not even worth a billion. So this is this six turns is worth it. Uh, yeah, they did. And right now, I have no money. Because two of the battleships I'm building cost over $10 billion each. Holy shit, we just went positive on monthly balance. Holy crap. Why so Vaughn, can we just hold hands and be friend V man? Chuck yourself at the door. <laughs> no, my government is currently centrist. Yes. But we're still a monarchy. But we're still a monarchy. Which is one of the main objectives of this campaign is retaining the monarchy. No, we're only making 934000 a month. So I got no money to put anywhere. 934000 that's nothing. I could barely move a slider without that going negative again. I think that runs one of my new battleships for a day. Why can't we be friends, Josh? Oh, we're friends. Unless you're in my invasion path. The United States keeps taking mind damage from somebody. Three and four. We just lost another seven transports in South and North Asia. Let's take a look at that. So losing transports here, that makes sense. I shouldn't be losing anything up in this region. Where to cost the shells for a new BB? Yeah. Wait, we only have a 42% chance to succeed? This only requires 27,000 tons. We have 150... Is there something in the port here? Show me the port. There's nothing in the port of Darwin, so why do we only have a 42% chance? Oh, the go blocks is ready to go. 54,000 tons. Join the fleet. Get down here. Come join the good times. Two turns to get here. Yeah, you'll be here in time. She is finally ready to go after how long we had to build her. And we just went negative money again moving her. <laughs> no, it, it, it comes down to tonnage. It has nothing to do with fuel. They put emus and canoes. <laughs> Oh, 
If I could put emus and canoes and send them at somebody, yeah. <laughs> Georgia would like two ice cream. Oh, Georgia wants some ice cream? I'll sell you ice cream. <laughs> now it's up to 54% chance. And the gold blocks will be here next turn. Kerosene. I, I, I hate to break the news to you, but I lost your uh, battle cruiser. I lost a war against China and they took it as part of the reparations deal. So I'm going to have to sink her in the future. I apologize now ahead of me sinking her. Yes, you're right, Dwight. Whipped the Yanks so hard in War of Rice, they didn't even show up to... What? They were that sore of losers? Really? Do I give the U.S. almost a billion dollars? No, we're not. We're not. I do want to naval invade the West Coast, so uh, we need to keep them unhappy. Now we're up to 78%. Very good. But uh, go blocks, you need to join the other fleet. Flames so hard in hell, we want 12. Holy shit, really? I had games like that, but like, not with the set regiments. That's wow. Yeah, like I've I've had games like that playing with randoms, but never with a set clan. That's wow. Oh, wait, I forgot we were war with Spain because we never see their ships. We do not negotiate. Fuck them. I'm not going to Europe and they're not coming here, so we'll keep that Cold War thing going. One more turn, then we should... Hopefully, because we're now at 77% chance to take it, hopefully we'll take Northern Australia. There's, there's no ships here. There's nothing... This is what pisses me off. We only need 27,000 tons. 27,500 tons. We have 206,000. And we only have a 77% chance to take it next turn. Yeah, the Conquest timed out. Yep. I'm not worried about them. We'll get them anytime we want. After I take Australia, I just go park my ships up there and uh, my government go, hey, invade this. Your ships are there. Just invade. Hopefully. Because sometimes they do that. Exactly, kerosene. Japanese, just, just like when I was running my China campaign. 
You know, we, we made Australia Chinese. Now we're going to make it Japanese. And we took it. U.S. wants to support us. Okay, I'll take that. Well, it's two transports this turn. That's not bad. I'm now earning $256 million. So we can put some money back into tech. Two hundred thirty-three million brings us back to twenty-nine percent. I got to put some money into crew training. Because we need better trained crews for our new ships. They are too good to have green crews. All right. Move off of Brisbane. Australia will belong to the Japanese. Yeah, but they're not fighting us, B-Man. I got I got ships that can intercept. All my uh my older light cruisers, which are port guards at this point, can intercept their ships at any time, but the computer's not letting us fight, so I'm just gonna let that play out. They're taking land, land down. You need a new kerosene two class of fires. Emus. <laughs> Emu bonsai. Exactly. Georgia would like to order two nuclear. Yeah, I'll give you two nuclear meltdowns. Yeah. Canada would like to order a sonar rainy class battle. There we go. They want a sonar rainy class. We'll sell that to them. I don't have the poor capacity to build any of this, but we'll sell it to them. <laughs> and Britain went on, underwent another revolution. They just underwent another revolution. They now have a new government. Who's in charge now? They're a democracy now. So we're still a monarchy. Spain's a monarchy. And Italy's a monarchy. The rest of the monarchies are gone. No, no, no. We got to build an emu class. We have once we take over Australia, we have to build an emu class. Forty nine thousand tons take easy to Australia. This we might pull it off. We might not. 44 month build time still on the Fuso. 27 months on Dwight of the Clan McDonald. 13 months on the new heavy. More Daco be in five months. And oh, the destroyers are finished. Perfect. Let's get the destroyers down to the fleet. They're not a lot of tonnage, but. That's an extra 10,000 tons. That's an extra 10,000 tons. Let's get them down there. Watch Discord. What, what'd you put in there? <laughs> oh, you, oh God! You you got to put a machine gun on its back. You got to put a machine gun on its back.
And if you're not a member of the Discord, I'm putting it up in the uh, chat right now. Come join. You got to look at that picture. <laughs> Wait, Dwight, were you not there when I designed it? You've been in chat all night. Were you, did you, like, walk away and take a long crap or something? <laughs> you were in the chat when I designed it. As long as you're in chat and not feeling up, you're going to get a ship. Oh, yeah, you got it because I was, uh, so I was looking at your name. And I just watched the Highlander the other night. Yeah, you, you were in chat before I designed it, so you're probably eating when I did it. So uh, I was watching Highlander the other day. And I just saw your name. I'm like, I got to make a Dwight McDonald of the Clan McDonald. <laughs> 67% chance, six turns. They're now launching an attack from Australia. How the fuck do they have 1.6 million people in Austin, Australia? There weren't even 1.6 million people living in Eastern Australia in 1931. How the fuck do they have that many soldiers there? Okay. No, so you were in chat before I designed it, Dwight. So you probably you were probably eating and not paying attention. Wait, wait, is that thing holding in a Maui war sword? <laughs> Randy, is that thing holding a Maui war sword? <laughs> no, fight to the end. No peace treaty. We're taking Australia. How the fuck are we under 50%? They have no ships in the area. Is there something in Brisbane? There's nothing in Brisbane. 46,000 tons needed. We have 216,000 tons. We only have 49% chance. New light cruiser built. Three more months. All right. That'll be over before they can get there. 1.6 million emus. Yeah. Yeah, I love that picture. I fucking love it. If I could play as Australia in this game, that would be my avatar. Like, I would love to play as a minor nation in this game. If I could play as Australia, I would use as my avatar. Admiral Emu. Show your middle and last name of your grandpa. Go. Pretty funny. Fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I doubt he would find it as funny, but okay. <laughs> and we'll sink some more of their transports. So 47%.
Hopefully we take Eastern Australia. They got a 16% advance against us in Northern Australia. But they are attacking with 1 million people. We've taken out 13,000 and lost eight. Yeah, we're not going to be able with that, with that number, we can knock down their logistics a lot. Just like the Chinese. We can knock down their logistics, but we'll still lose. Our GP still growing at 7%. There's still 7% growth. $2 trillion GDP to our $203 billion. <laughs> Jesus Christ. David and Goliath right here. What are you talking about, Inc.? I thought the Air Force was made up of drop bears. Now, Inc., I could have sworn the Air Force made up of drop bears with them dropping their cousins off the wings as bombs. <laughs> drop bears are special forces. Exactly. They get dropped off the wings of the planes. Early paratroopers. It's 1930s still. What the fuck did you just put in this cup? What the <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I fucking love that picture. <laughs> oh, I think it's my new desktop background. I love it. <laughs> no, nah, the first one's better, Rainy. The first one's better. Oh, my God. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I they, they they need to allow me to play as Australia in this game so I could use that as my avatar. <laughs> Indonesia would like to buy a nuclear meltdown. Yes, because I can't build it right now, but you'll get it eventually. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Josh, Josh, drop bears and bears are two different things altogether. They are two different things. Drop bears and bears are two different things. Drop bears? Yeah, you don't want to fuck with them. Oh, our first naval battle in a while. The Athos against the Cairo. Or the Cairo. My bad. I'm so I'm so used to pronouncing pronouncing the American name for the city. So the Athos at 9,800 tons is going up against the Cairo at 9,700 tons. Where is she mounting? Four dual. Oh, she's got dual 7.4s. So she's actually fairly. For as low as her tonnage is, she's actually fairly modern. Yeah, fuck it. Let's fight her.
Uh, whoever is the Epic Total War, you're not wrong. Uh, whoever the Epic Total War is in chat. Because that's your name in uh, Discord. You're not wrong. Drop bears like Jeffrey Dahmer armed with a knife wrapped in crushed glass. <laughs> That's an app description. <laughs> Alright, they already got us spotted, but we don't see... Oh, they're behind us. They're saying northwest. They're back here. They're behind us. Oh, it's you, Dwight. Okay. Yep, there they are. And they're ignoring us and going, what? yeah, which is their job is going. And we already lost a transport? What the fuck? The hell is this thing shooting? We lost you. What the fuck? Tell you, I gotta go back to Australia. I loved it when I was there. I need to go back. And that thing just turned on a dime. You guys just saw that, right? That thing just turned on a fucking dime. And it's damaged, but it's not damaged from us. That is... What? Wait, wait, well, hold on, hold on. How many fucking wing mounts does it have? It put out 16 torpedoes per side. We got four dual sevens. Three point fours. Jesus Christ, what the fuck am I looking at? This thing is scary. And it's the same tonnage as the Athos, which is older. It's the same tonnage as my light cruiser, and it's fucking older. Well, it's a CL, it's not a CA, but still. And she can make 40 knots. Or just shy of. I can't build ships like that. I can't. Get behind her. We're not we're not taking her broadside of torpedoes. She's damaged. We might be able to take her down because she's already damaged from a previous fight or possibly mines, but we are not taking her on broadside. out of here. Get the fuck out. We can't match our power power at all. Well, they're not even glass cannons. They, they, they still have the same armor as me and they're fucking a quarter of the price. Hopefully our one transport makes it out, but I'm doubtful. Blink, let's go. Get out. She can chase us down, and we can't even see her.
Nope, she's ignoring us and going after the transport. We're getting... Jesus. The Athos is not even that old. And this thing is the same exact tonnage. There goes the last transport. She's gonna chase us down. Fuck it, fight it out. She's gonna chase us, fight. not adding up to much. We're burning wreck right now. We're about to surrender. There we go. How the hell is the AI building ships like that? That was a veteran crew. And her crew, I didn't look at her, but she probably had trained crew. But I was not matching her armor or her speed or her armament. I have advanced technology on my ships, but it feels like I'm like a century behind. Like, all my ships are as advanced as I can make them. And po when I look at the politics screen, I have some of the most advanced technology in the game, but I'm still, like, behind somehow. But, I mean, the Athos is older, but not that old. Take a look here. They're very advanced, and we're very advanced. They they they're not doing me techno. They're not outdoing me technology wise. Uh, no, I feel like the uh, the AI cheats. You're not wrong, kerosene. I feel like it cheats. It has to. But honestly, it does have to. It does have to. It doesn't make the same designs as us. Wait, wait, wait. Britain's friendly with the Soviets? Oh, I want to kill them even more now. Forty six percent, two more turns. I need my ships finished building. One more month on a more DACA. Okay. So it's not gonna make it down to this one in time. I'll just restart the invasion. We gotta spoil their attack in northern Australia. All right, Randy, have fun driving today. Be safe. Oh, gee, what the fuck? Randy, I just looked, I just popped back on the Discord and saw that last picture. What the? Fuck? 
Okay, okay. I, I, I got to work that into one of the posters I'm working on for the uh, GC, GCW break screen. I got to work that in. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, I can't talk straight looking at that. <laughs> I, got, I got to work that into the new break screens I'm working on. That's fucking awesome. That's fucking awesome. Everybody go... If you're on Discord, go back, go look at Discord and look at the last photo Rainy put up. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Rainy is having too much fun with the AI stuff, but that that is awesome. I, I I gotta I gotta work that into the GTCW break screen. <laughs> Still have forty three percent chance. How the hell is our chance so low? They have twenty three ships, but it's still a hundred percent logistics. Um, look at that picture. I see two legs. That's a sexy emu. I'd go sailing with him. And we took Eastern Australia. Nice. All right, Tasmania, you're next. And then we'll take Western Australia. And then we'll call for a peace deal with the British. What do we got here? Heavy cruiser, 8,400 tons. I should have had a light cruiser there. Where the hell did it go? There should have been a light cruiser there. It didn't sink. Betty White, we're going to move you to move Iran to take on... That heavy cruiser. Because you're the Betty White. Australia is almost fully Japanese. Oh, crap. I meant to uh, start building my ports again. Shit. I'm going to turn off, but that's fine. You know, that, that emu was sitting there in the canoe saying, Come sail with me. Come sail. Let's sail away. <laughs> yeah, let's disperse the crowds. Why not? Not like I'm going broke. All right, new naval invasion. Tasmania. Then after this, yeah, we might as well come over here and take New Zealand away too. You know, we, we can film uh, 
Lord of the Rings in anime style using New Zealand. I'm pretty sure we can. Actually, that'd be pretty fucking awesome now to think about it. Lord of the Rings as an anime? That'd be fucking awesome. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, the map crease has got to go. I love how they added the mini map up here, but the map crease has to go. Because, like, you pull right, you pull right, and it ends here. You forget about what's over there. And before I forget, we're going to be a turn off on doing it, but we need to do it. Because we're using 304. We just finished upgrading our ports. We got us, we got ourselves 254,000 tons, but we're still using 343,000 tons. We're 100,000 tons off of what we need. Yeah, but it wasn't done anime. Now, if you're going off the original Tolkien cartoon movies, number one, those things were awesome. And cartoons from that period were, they did it right for the period. Dark and dirty, which is how it should be. And you watch, even to this day, you watch those movies, they fucking, they're disturbing. Now, imagine if a fucking Japanese artist had gotten their hands on it. Mm. Mm mm. Mm-mm. That's that's a tasty thought. And even building that, we still have money left. So let's throw a lot of money back into crew training. Because I threw a lot of money back into tech budget. Actually, we can get us all the way up, can't we? Yeah, we got crew training all the way back up and we're still making money. Nice. Nice. Would it be Lord of Re Record Lobos? <laughs> You're not <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. And that's a good anime too. Hmm. The new light cruiser is finished. Nice. Time to add her to the fleet. It only took her two years to build. A little more then. Indonesia would like an ice cream. Yeah, I'll sell you an ice cream. So, once again, we, we need 42,000 tons, which gives us a 71% chance. We needed 42,000 tons for Eastern Australia, but we had a lower chance. Somebody please make this make sense to me. More DACA. Come to... Actually, more DACA? How much tons do we need here? 11,938 for there. How much does the more DACA weigh? 11,000. Oh, no. More DACA is 9,000. Wait, how's the more DACA lighter than the older ships? Ah, eh, fuck it. But she's not enough time to begin that invasion. There will be no Britain left when all is said and done. I am... T 
They are the last European power to go outside of fucking Italy because I don't count Spain as a European power. I mean, look at Russia. Russia barely exists. <laughs> Between us and China, they don't exist. Once I finish taking Australia and New Zealand, we're going to come back and start taking over India. And we're earning more money again, so time to put that back into the tech budget. Well, Tasmanian devils are in the western U.S. chasing coyotes. <laughs> uh, too bad rainy day's gone. That'd be a good picture. We got an emu, a drop bear, and a Tasmanian devil all into the same picture with fucking weapons. That'd be fucking awesome. If I could play as Australia, that would be my avatar. I should write the devs and just say, hey, make an update where I can play as Australia. Just so I can have an emu as an admiral. They'd probably go for that. <laughs> Who wouldn't? If anyone would like buying ice cream, I'll sell you ice cream. But Finland's buying ice cream. Uh, I figure they could produce more than we can. Oh, we can turn that off. Let's see. No, we'll just let the money flow where it's flowing right now. Eleven turns. Take Northern Papua's 11 turns? Fuck no. Wait, where the fuck is this happening? Where is the Edinburgh? Oh, she's over here over of Brisbane. Oh, more DACA has just gotten into a fight against two equal weight light cruisers. The Bonaventure and the Cairo. Cairo's got to go. We got to sink that bitch. We need some vengeance. Four dual. Oh shit! She's got Bonaventure's got the same armament as us. We got six dual sevens. These two have four dual sevens between the two of them. Oh yeah, HY four for <laughs> yeah. I you know what? That's actually a mod I wanted to play and never played. 
This is actually going to be a dangerous fight because these ships are as well armed as we are. Actually, they actually have better armament. Wait, how do I have two? Sing I thought I took all the three inches off. How the fuck do I have two single three inch guns? I thought I took those off. And these ships actually cost more than me. These ships are actually worth uh, 836 million to my. These, these cruisers are double the cost of mine. Really? But they have no defects. Do I have any defects? I don't have any defects either. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. But I still have a pair of three inches on this ship. I, th I thought I took them all off. Apparently I missed a set. My cruise is almost 500 mils, so... And my battleships are 10 billion. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, let's get into this. Time for the more DACA to show her thing. That is a sexy ship. But, uh, where the fuck are those single... Where the fuck are those singles? I don't even see them. Uh, depends on their RDF. They focused on her. That's a sexy ship. I'm sorry. That is sexy. And I need you... About right here to fit in. For the next screenshot for the next episode, need her about right there to be the rising sun. You don't have very good aim at all. What's our reload? 17 second reload on the sevens with a green crew. Now we're already taking damage. This is not a good fight for us. Our reload's insane, though. Look at the amount of shells we're sending out. Where the fuck are the three inchers? I don't see them. Where the fuck are they? They can hit us, we can't hit them. That's a problem. Shit! Torps, torps! Fuck me! All right, we're getting out of here. We're getting out. Fuck. The ship looked really good on paper. Good on paper. Even has outranging torpedoes. Holy shit. I gotta hope we can get out because they're gonna chase us.
Popping a bridge? No. I didn't put anything on the bridge. I still don't see, I don't see where those threes are. I didn't put any casemates on her. No, I took all the threes off. How the hell is it still showing threes? All right, doesn't look like they're chasing us. Or they might be. Oh, now we hit them. Now, now as we're running away, we hit them. Loser. This is a brand new light cruiser and I need her tonnage. I can't lose this ship. I don't care if she's damaged. I need her tonnage at the fucking invasion. Yeah, there goes another torp. We haven't even fired. Oh, we sent some torps out. We just did. Where are they? And they're sending chase torpedoes after us. There and oh, we just got lucky. Holy crap. Maybe we can cause some flood damage. They'll put them off of us. We just actually sent out another flight. Actually. Uh, no, one just blew. Nope, they see him coming. They see him coming. Changing course. But it's changing their course. They may... No. Not gonna pull off. If they kept going this way, Kira would have been hit. F crew saying we're better than the forward crew. Yeah, you're not wrong. They are. And our smoke's already gone. When danger raises ugly head, grumpy grump properly turn and fled. <laughs> uh, how we doing, Artorius? Oh, good God. If it was one against one, I think we'd win this, but one against two, we're not winning this. comes another chase torpedo. Holy, how many torps are they firing at us? Alright, let's turn our guns off. Let's turn everything off. And next time we smoke up, hopefully it'll give us the escape. We're at 23% crew loss. Jeez. Now turn everything back on. They're right next to us. We're gonna lose this ship. And she was just about to join the fleet. We just finished building her! <sighs> I 
All right, have a good one, Kerosene. No, they're not notorious, they are not, but that was disgusting. She's brand new. These ships are not. She came out of dry dock two month two turns ago. That hurt. Looks like you found your Bismarck. Yep. Oh. In this game, I am the government, so I am the insurance. So, uh, yeah. But then again, it's 1930s Japan, so you have the right and the obligation to serve in my military. Well, this is one of my destroyer crews. I'm just pulling your ass out of prison and throwing you onto that one of those things. And as always, with my destroyers, it's like, no, I'll serve my time in prison. Like, no, you don't have a choice. That gave him 5,000 victory points for that ship. God damn it. I just finished building her. All right, let's build more DACA, too. <laughs> 21 month build time. Actually, when is, is the next? Okay, the dependent. Heavy cruiser is going to be ready to go in two months, which means probably two months of fitting time. So four more turns for the new heavy. But I was expecting her to join this fleet down here of Tasmania. Oh, we're now at 90% chance. Our chance just went, went from 76 to 90. But it probably went to 90 when the more DACA was there. So next turn is probably going to be lower. I actually forgot about the war with Spain and the Betty White never engaged that other ship. Okay. I got to keep looking for Spanish ships. I keep forgetting to. They're in the area, but I keep forgetting to look for them. Because I need to end that war. Because I don't want to invade Spain. It's not my sphere of influence. Not yet, at least.
We're already at war with Spain. How does that affect our bilateral relations? Fuck you. No. No peace with the British. And those two CLs came to fight my main fleet. It's time for them to sink. Holy shit, we got a lot of destroyers in this fleet. Let's put those two down to the bottom. Uh, you find Josh. Just knock on some wood first. As a famous magical space sorcerer once said, do it. <laughs> Let's pause this real fast. All right, let's detach you want the go blocks up front. We're going to put the Rita Zucker 2 behind the go blocks. Rocky behind her. Josh behind her. Motley Crew. California Girl, Def Leopard, Anime, Biggest Dickus, and then Jersey Girl. And I have Voluptuous join the battle line too. Put all the destroyers into one division, put them all to screen. play. Go blocks. That's a sexy ship. Let's see how she does. First battle. You just let all the ships tack in the swarm. I can put everything under AI control and hope for the best. Uh, you know what, Josh? Yeah, you're right. So, but hopefully we spot them before they spot us. And I think they actually might be running. They're running from us. Yeah, they're running. And battle. Yeah, they're running. I'm not going to catch them. They ran from that fight.
Well, I'm actually surprised they ran because uh, the AI gave them the fight against us. So if the AI put them against our battle fleet, that means they thought it was the AI thought it was a fair fight. We now have a 98% chance of success. Okay, two more turns. Once we finish taking Australia, we take all the emancipated, emancipated prisoners from Australia and put them to work on our ships. And tell them, yes, you can thank us for your freedom, which you don't have anymore. And you never had. And they can thank us for the privilege of fighting back against Britain. And it looks like going back to war with China sometime soon. And the Brits have moved a big... Now they have four ships. On top of the Bonaventure and the Cairo, they moved the Tartar and the Carnarvon heavy cruiser into the region. Oh, they were trying to run away, so we cornered them. They tried to withdraw. Let's see if we can fight them this time. Oh, that's an awesome picture. That's a fucking awesome picture right there. Well, they tried running away, so they were trying to withdraw. They got stuck in the fight, so they're going to withdraw as soon as the battle map opens up. Hopefully, we're close enough to see them, but I'm doubtful. Because a lot of my ships are low on fuel, because we haven't poured it in for coal. And some of my ships still run on coal, like the biggest dickus does. Because that's an old fucking ship at this point. Let's pause this and do everything the same way again. Well, go blocks, you're gonna be lead. Eh, biggest diggers you get right behind her. Followed by the Jersey. Followed by the Josh. Followed by the Leopard. Rocky, Rita Zuka, how about the anime, Motley, all the stories in the one division have them screen us. Yeah, we can only make 17 knots full speed because we have ships that have no fuel. Like the biggest Dickus, which has no fuel. Actually, biggest Dickus, let's just break you. Oh, we're down to times 10, so we're nearby. We're going to detach you because you have no fuel. And just tell you to get the hell out. 
Who else has low fuel? I'm not seeing low fuel on anybody but that ship. Okay. Oh, there we go. We got him spotted. Let's go sink him. Uh, Josh, I'm not a naval historian, so you be better asking that question than track now. English Navy is as modern as mine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Torpedo. These guys just ran right in on us. Shit. Blank. Blank. Uh, it's only 124 points of damage. Okay. I was too busy looking at other ship, and the rest of these things closed in on us. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Turn back into them. Turn back in. Jersey girl, focus on the Bonaventura. Josh, focus on the Cairo. Def Leopard, focus there. Rocky, focus on the Bonaventura. Zuka, same target. Anime. Jesus Christ, look at these torps. Oh, we're not avoiding any of that. Holy shit. Look at all this. Keep turning, keep turning. And we got more coming. There's three more and three there. Holy shit. We at least avoid these two. You did. What the absolute fuck? Where's my destroyer screen? And there's that set. I didn't even see this set. Thank God we avoided them. Holy shit. What speed is she moving at? 40 fucking knots? Go blocks, get the fuck out. You're gone. You're done. And there's another set. My destroyers aren't even screening properly now. Ah, uh, shit. Who's going to eat that? And my battle line just bugged out. And 
and Def Lever's Batitos Torpedoes. A bunch of duds. Holy shit. That one's not going to be. Nope. And they just turned back at us. What the fuck? How the hell am I not making faster than nine knots? Who's doing that? Motley crew? Yeah. Let's detach you. All right, 16 knots. Let's go. This is disgusting. The heavy cruiser's way over there. The heavy cruiser's not even in the fight. These CELs are about to wipe out my fleet. Well, we hit the Tartar with it. Look at the speed this thing's moving. Look at it. What's she moving at? That's... And she just sent out more torpedoes. There's a girl. Hard... No, fuck that. Hardcore. And our torps are not going to go anywhere near her. I don't know who just sent those out. Holy shit. Oh, she just took a lot of torpedoes in return. That's fine. Okay. So our torpedoes actually hit her. And we just lost a Jersey girl. The amount of torpedoes she just ate and she's still afloat. Now she's going down, all right. Everybody's focused on the Tartar now. She's finished. Kyra will be next. That was ridiculous. That was goddamn ridiculous. No, God blocks. Uh, shit. 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 No. 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 Ah, she'll be fine. She'll make it out. She'll make it out. Invasion's not done. And the Goblox just did sink. Holy shit. Fuck is that heavy? Don't take any damage from the sinking vessel. Oh.
Get that fucking heavy. I'd rather they were I'd rather Goblox was here to watch that instead of me having to explain it next stream. Go that way, keep going. Let's drop this motherfucker. I am so pissed right now. Singing that one battleship probably caught their war score up to me. This thing is not getting away. for this fucking stream. Ugh. It's way ahead of us. Who's not making speed? Voluptuous, let's detach you. Zuka, you should be keeping up. Leopard, I thought I detached you already. Let's detach you. There we go. Blank. 22 knots. Let's catch up. That heavy is not getting the fuck away. You see, this shit's all glitched out down here. I think it's already got away. Fuck. Thirty-two knots. We can't catch up. There's a fucking problem. We have RDF, so we can find them. That motherfucker is not making it out. And this is why you don't play the game at advanced speeds. Just like GCW. You lose control of everything. Where'd you go? RDF says they're this way. We got her identified, but I can't see her right now. I think she are, she probably makes the same speed as my destroyers. Yeah, we'll end this battle right here. I am so pissed right now. So we lost to Goblox. We lost to Jersey. Jersey Girl, I'm not concerned about losing. That gave them 49,000 victory points for sinking her. Along with the Jersey girl. 
We got 30,777 for think sinking the three light cruisers. <sighs> Fuck me. They ran those light cruisers in like they were fucking destroyers. No, this is what I get for playing the game at advanced speeds. It's exactly what I get, and I deserve it. God, that fucking hurts. There goes my invasion tonnage. There went my invasion tonnage. I went into this fight thinking, yeah, vengeance. <laughs> Yeah, no vengeance. We got the light cruisers. They're gone. So we have vengeance in that aspect. The light cruisers are gone, but they cost. Not worth it. No, if we dropped the heavy cruiser, that would have been a victory. Depending on his points, depending on how many points it was worth, it probably would have been a victory because that was a modern, pretty modern heavy cruiser. <sighs> Time to spend money on another $10 billion battleship. And we just finished building the goblocks after how long? Fuck. Yeah, I'll say some nuclear meltdowns. Same with you, Canada. How bad did that throw off my invasion? Still at 90%, even with losing the one battleship. Okay. But we still have to build a new one. Another 10.9 billion. Who's going to notice? Who's going to notice? God bless things is good too. <laughs> They're gonna come into next stream and go, you just finished building my no 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 it's it's still being built. It's the same ship, it's still being built. No, it's a good part about the live streams. You guys get to live the ups and downs with me instead of the set piece videos. You know, where I hang my head and cry for an hour. You guys get to live all the ups and downs. Well, the rally's being constructed. And that thing was going to take like 68 months to build. And we did not get Tasmania. Of course we didn't. We had a 9% chance. Of course we'd fail. 
Let's do that again. We had a 9% chance. We had a lower chance than the other two provinces, but we still failed. Uh, we got, we had what, 70% chance with both of these and we won and we had a 90% chance here in Tasmania and lost. XCOM 2 numbers is all I can say. And the Riley, which is now the Crayons Taste Good class, it's still another 31 months away from being finished. The go blocks is 62 months. More DACA 2 is 20 months away. Oh, the dependent finished. Time to start building another one. Let's build one more of those. You and Yokosuka. And this one is the stripper loves me. So the dependents got to come down to the, hopefully the dependent can make it to the fleet without a combat. God blocks. Why does my ship have a two? Well, <laughs> Yeah, it decided to have ice cream that was a long, hard shaft. Indonesia would like to buy three nuclear meltdowns. Yes, I'll... I'm now using 459,000 tons of my 256,000 tons. I should say no to them. I should, but I'm not. Romania would like to order two also. Yes. Why not? Why not? They'll be built eventually. Eventually. 76% <laughs> chance. Okay. The Brits are always forming a new fleet. They're always forming a new fleet. So I'm not worried about it. You know, I actually thought we were going to make it to 1935 in this stream. I don't think we're going to. Where is the heavy? Okay, she's north of Papua. So, one or two turns. This could be an issue. This fleet right here could be an issue. Five heavy cruisers, five light cruisers, two destroyers weighing 120,000 tons. That could be an issue. No, I'm not going to do that, Will. I'm not doing that. I'm just going to let it ride the way it is. Two meeting engagements, which means my heavy cruiser is in, in a fight on its own. Awesome. The battleship New Zealand at 64,000 tons. 
Valley Cruiser Inflexible, 31,000 tons. Nelson, 14,000 tons. Two CLs, one at just under 12 and the other one at 10.4. Five destroyers. What are you armed with? Seven dual 11.3s. Let me repeat that. Seven dual batteries of 11.3s. I think this is a sign I need to build my battleships with more batteries of smaller caliber. Josh, you got four batteries of dual 16s. Let's get in it. Once again, Josh, I think you're going down, but not in a fun way. But uh, we'll try to keep our distance this time. I'm going to keep this at one time speed, not run it up five times or ten times, and keep control of the fuck of everything. Oh shit, you got a cold ink? Sorry to hear that. Some of the seals can't spam fish like the other. Yeah, let's hope. Let's hope. The amount of torpedoes that were thrown at me, the way those ships were maneuvering, I, you, you would swear I was fighting destroyers. You would swear I was fighting destroyers. Uh, Motley Crew, you're damaged. Let's break you off immediately and get you to fuck out. There is one group. All right, so Rita Zuka 2, get behind the battleship. Rocky behind her. I'm going to go with the same setup again. As soon as we're in contact, we're going to go to one time speed. So we're not having that same. Yeah, we're running too fast. So I'm not paying attention to what's going on type of thing going on. There we go. Why are you still on screen? Let's get you into the battlefield. Take the change off. Out of range. Really? At 23 kilometers. 16s reach out to... 22 kilometers. Okay, you're right out of range. But at least we have them spotted. with the mess with the arthritis. Yeah, yeah, my arthritis flares up every time it gets fucking damp out. Fifty 
59 second reload. That's actually really good. We only have a season crew on the job. Uh, I took money out. So that makes sense. Josh, focus on her. That's the battleship. She's got to go first. What the fuck is she armed with? What the fuck am I looking at? You guys all talk about what the fuck drunken grumpy designs? What the fuck am I looking at? I gotta be on shrooms to design something like this. Hold on. What? No, this isn't a legal design. Where's her rear tower? She has no rear tower. She has no rear tower. I can't design a ship like this. I, I, the game won't allow me to do this. Red Crow ship, yeah. I can't be... I can never be drunk enough to design this. Rules for thee, but not for me. Yeah, exactly. What the fuck? I mean, she's not firing at us, but still. I would build this if it would allow me to, but it doesn't even have a weird tower. And look at this thing. Those tourists don't even fit on this ship. What the fuck am I looking at? Oh, what else are we looking at? This is somewhat sensible. Let's sink the big one first if we can. Looking at that battle lineup, I feel like I'm looking at the Habsburg Dynasty. It's just all fucked up. Oh, no, yeah, no, no. Like, we established that back at the beginning of the stream, Inc. This, this save is all bugged out. But I'm still trying to save it. And I will save it. BC had bigger swords in. Yeah, it did. It did. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I was looking at right there. That was crazy. I'm not your average YouTuber. I'm not going to give up on a bugged save. I'm going to play it through to the end. You guys have seen me do that in my GTCW campaigns. Hello, high water. I'm finishing.
What? Oh, they're all going over. They're all going over. Aw, oh, come on. One of those could have at least landed. All right, Josh. Focus. She's closing. What am I looking at here? She's closing the distance. Everybody else is staying away. She's closing. She's got to go. She's not identified. Dual batteries. This could be a heavy or a light cruiser. But the way she's closing in, I'm thinking she's a light. I can't believe I actually have a Voluptuous in this fleet. That cruiser is so old now. Pretty sure my patience is not greater than yours. I'm just willing to put more. <sighs> Let's just put it this way: I'm a bigger mass against it. I love the punishment, and it's a good challenge. It's a good challenge, to be honest with you. I'm, tr I'm trying to pull this save file out of garbage. It's a great. I'm a masochist. I love the abuse. They can pull that as I want it. I would not be surprised. You, you know what, Abraham? I would not be surprised if they had a fucking design without a tower. I would not be surprised. No, th th no, th those ships are still around. There's some of them still out there. Ten degrees right. Because the New Zealand has... Oh, she only has 22 knots of speed. We can go for her. All right, you can only make 17 knots. Who's slowing me down? Who's got low fuel? Biggest dickest break off. And California girl, you're breaking off too. There we go. 22 knots. There we go. The amount of firepower to Nelson. That's a heavy cruiser. That was a heavy cruiser. And she's cooking off. He just showed up at the right moment. There we go. Look at some British rats. Alright, let's turn back on the rest of them. Whiskey helps you make the great fuck see. <laughs> they make it more palatable. They make it more palatable. Well, the heavy cruiser throw it was a light. But we still gotta deal with the rest of the fleet. 
Actually, I want to drop the inflexible. She's got to go. Now they're coming in full battle line. The one heavy cruiser that was supposed to uh, distract me is now gone, so the rest of the fleet turned back. Here's the battleship. There you go, New Zealand. Josh, focus on New Zealand. Rita, focus on whoever that is. They're coming in our torpedo run. Josh, put your secondaries on her, please. not going to happen. They're coming in. She's coming right at us. You don't have to identify so I can't see if she's launched. That's a destroyer. Rocky's already firing at her. Yeah, they're coming on torpedo runs. There it is, there. Holy shit. I send out spreads like that and they hit nothing. They send out spreads like that and they hit everything. So we avoid. Uh. Zuka is going to take a big hit. I'm taking a massive hit. There's three coming in right on the Josh. And there's another sprite coming behind. So I could just say two for 7,000 points of damage. Detach you. Everything just broke into its own. God damn it. Not what I wanted. Rocky, stay on. California girl, stay on. Stay on. Zuka, pull out. Fuck me. Look at all these torps. Look at this. Retreating. Def Leopard, get the fuck out of here. I can't have, what the? Look at this crap. All right, everybody get out. Everybody get out, we're done. There's even more over here. He's not retreating. Volup Voluptuous, get the fuck out. <laughs> You're not staying in the fight. And she's... There's more torps coming. What the... I hit retreat just in time. She avoided those torps. And here's another one. Did anybody from my destroyer line launch? We did. Okay. But where the fuck are mine? We're not putting out spreads like that. Mine are all over the place. Nowhere near their ships. They're over here. Nowhere near their ships. I 
Everybody retreat. Everybody get the hell out. There's more torpedoes. Look at that. What in the absolute fuck? That was ridiculous. Well, it's giving us the end battle, so I'm going to take it. Well, we at least sank one of theirs. That's all I can say. We got 4,100 victory points for sinking one of their heavy cruisers, plus putting 967 men down. We lost 359 crew members, which gave them 1,100 victory points. Uh, Josh, that's no consolation at all. Bro, that torpedo spam? What the fuck? That was ridiculous. I can't I can't spam torpedoes like that. My newer destroyers are in the fleet with the forward and aft torpedo tubes and they can't spam like that. And heavy cruiser dependent Okay, so the game thinks this is a fair fight. My newest heavy cruiser dependent is fighting a 67,000 ton battleship and a 58,000 ton battleship on its own. We have four triple 11 inch guns and 20 single five inch guns against seven dual 11.3s, seven dual 11.3s. So these are both the same class, redoubtable. Yeah, both redoubtables. Five triple eight inches, one double eight inch, two triple 4.1s, 12 double 3.7s. No, we're going to withdraw from this if we can. And we could not. Let's get into it. I feel like my head's about to explode right now. I can't design ships like this. The game won't let me design ships like what I'm fighting.
I thought my Italian campaign was messed up, but this is far, far worse. Let's go hunting. Let's see how the dependent does. Well, these BBs weren't in the last fight. Well, we have them spotted. They don't have us spotted, but they are way out of our range. They're 21 kilometers. And our range is 17. Well, be glad you passed out because it was bad. And it's still bad. Tell me you're dreaming of me. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. There's no way a heavy cruiser's fighting two battleships. That's a lot of firepower. some damage on the chase but not much. And a lot of shells. We're getting the hell out of here. Uh, you're not wrong, Josh, on that comment. You're not wrong. Oh. See, shot like shots like that slow me down, but never slows down the AI. So the new CL didn't make it to my fleet. Looks like the new CA is not making it to my fleet. And I got no smoke to throw up. Turn our guns off, turn the torps off. And hope, hope we can get the distance. You can do 22 knots and you can do So you can actually catch up to us. Great, yay. Highly animated dream of world of darkness with four vampires following me with a fake week up to my light. Wow, that was just, wow. Wow, <laughs> that's all I can say. I 
mean, I've had some effed up dreams. That's just weird. All right, they're no longer firing. We're no longer firing. Please let me get away. Our range now, 15 kilometers. And what are you at? You're at 16. So we're getting away. All right. Uh, probably a combination of both, Dwight. Probably a combination of both. And who knows? It might be a foreshot of my next... Uh, so I'm, I'm thinking about doing a <laughs> Crusader, Crusader Kings campaign with World of Darkness mod. So uh, it might be a foreshadow. That hurts. At least she survived. At least she survived. What's weird heard the stream? Grim, how are we doing this evening? No, but do I like I'm thinking about running a CK three K campaign with the uh with that mod on, so we'll see. Maybe your dreams will come true. But, uh, actually, I think I'm gonna end the stream here for this evening, because I'm Getting really tired of these British ships that are. Yeah. I'll be honest. I'm, I'm just tired of my ass getting handed to me tonight. This has been a bad stream. Fun with you guys. You guys have been great, but game wise, this has been bad. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck I put up with this shit. So uh, I'm going to end this one here a little earlier than usual. Actually, it's. Now that I think about it, it's like when I first started streaming, I didn't run shit this long or this late, but. uh, Earlier than usual. For this stream, so. uh, Thank you guys for joining me and gals. Hopefully you'll enjoy it while you're hanging out with me. Josh, I wouldn't say it was fun. I would not say it was fun. <laughs> it might have been fun for you. It's been a little frustrating for me. Thank God I don't let my hair grow long. Otherwise, I would have pulled it out. My hair is short enough where I can't fucking grab it. Ugh. Except for my beard. Uh, 4.30 a.m. for me, Josh, yeah. But I usually go to like 6 a.m. anyway. Well, you never <laughs> Grim, if you if you'd seen this shit go if you could spend the time, watch the fucking replay of this video and look at the shit I've been dealing with all night. <laughs> and I'm not talking about I'm not talking about chat either. 
Look at what the game's been throwing at me. Josh. Josh, for that comment, you want me fucking scrubbing the bilge of the hospitality ship for the next fucking three months. <laughs> anyway, once again, if you're a new viewer, return view, if you're not yet subscribed, please hit that, that subscribe button. If you do, remember hit that bell icon so the next video comes out. Follow along with the series and you're enjoying it. Don't forget to drop an AP shell into the like button, HE shell into that comment section. Get the algorithm working in our favor. And it never will. That's just a joke. It's never going to work in our favor. YouTube hates me. But I will see all of you ugly mofos at the next episode. <laughs> no, Will, I never, I never do that. I never, I throw my phone against the wall. I do that all the time. Never throw my booze against the wall. <laughs> Bless our, yeah, it's been crazy. These battles have been nuts. These battles have been nuts. And that's like, that. I'm, I'm calling it early tonight because I'm like, I can't deal with this anymore tonight. <laughs> I'd rather go play Helldivers on Helldive difficulty than deal with this anymore. <laughs> So uh, I will thank you guys for joining me and I will see you all. I mean, I, I actually might stream on Monday because I don't have a set piece campaign for Monday or Wednesday. I might stream on Monday. I'm not sure. I might do some CK3 on Monday. Well, I'll think about it. I'll let you I'll let you guys know tomorrow on the Discord if I'm going to do that or not. But uh, I'll see you all at the next episode. Stay grumpy. Or actually, stay happy. Don't be grumpy like me. <laughs> well, Grim, if you play... Like, I play on PS5. Just look for Grumpy Grump, Grumpy underscore Grunt Pod. That's my character on Helldivers. So uh, if you do play, that's my, I don't know what your name is on uh computer or uh, PS5. So just look for grumpy underscore grunt paw. And that's my character. So hopefully we'll run into each other. Go block second torp ice cream and grumpy tried to make me eat that ice cream flavor. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Josh, I really can't think of any more punishments for your antics. I really can't. I really can't. I'm out of punishments for you. I have to, I hate to say you you've made me go through more punishments than I went through in the fucking army. <laughs> you you know what, Josh? Do mental push-ups until my next stream. That's your punishment. Do mental push-ups to my next stream. <laughs> There's a level above hell dive. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I would never play that. But uh drawing this ending out a little too long. So I will see you guys honestly probably with a live stream on Monday. Probably do a little bit of CK3 with the uh the darkness mod. Get some vampirism in. So I'll see you all there if you want to join me. <laughs>